Hello and welcome. Game theory in operations research. A game of higher order. There are five strategies with player B, the player whom we believe is a loser, and there are four strategies with player A, whom we believe is a player going to gain or a gainer. Yes. Now what? Actually, as a student also, I was curious about the, say, effects of some methods. As a student, I was also curious about the effect of applying the dominance rule with a game having a unique saddle point. I was also curious. And some of you may also be curious about this thing. So let's check what happens with a game having a unique saddle point. If we apply dominance rule to that game and reduce the order of the game. Okay, let's do it. First of all, let's check where is and what is the saddle point. Row minimum. In this row minimum is minus 1. In this row minimum is minus 1. In this row minimum is 6. In this row minimum is minus 4. Let's get the maximum min value. Maximum of the minimum. Yes. And that is 6. Now column maximum. Uh, 16. 11. 6. 14. 12. Minimum of the maximum, 6, mini, max. And that's it. So this game has saddle point. A3, B3. So for A, the optimal strategy is A3. And for B, the optimal strategy is B3. And the value of game is 6. A is expected loss is 6. And B is expect, uh, sorry, A is expected gain. I am very sorry. A is expected gain is 6. And B is expected loss is 6. Now let's apply the dominance rule to this game with saddle point. Let's compare A1 and A2. Gain of 3, loss of 1. Loss of 1, gain of 3, loss of 1, loss of 1, gain of 8, so no dominance of only 1, okay. Then let's compare A1 and A3, what happens, gain of 3, gain of 16, gain of, loss of 1, gain of 8. Gain of 4, gain of 6, gain of four, 6, gain of 14, gain of 7, gain of 12. Throughout the game, A3 dominates A1. So A1 is dominated by A3. So we can delete A1. Now, the fate of A1 has been decided. So, comparison of A2 and A3. A3 dominates, again A3 dominates, A3 dominates, A3 dominates, A3 dominates. In these two, they are equal, but in all other three cases, A3 dominates. So, A2 is dominated by A3. Now, A3 and A4. A3 dominates, A4 dominates. So no dominance. A1 and A2. We are going to delete A1 and A2. Because A is not or rather A is never going to adopt strategy A1 or A2. Yes. Let's have the new game. Player A gainer, player B 
the loser. B's all five strategies are there B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. But now only two strategies of A, A3, and A4. 16, 1, 8, 11, 6, 4, 14, 2, 12, 1. Now let's compare the strategies of B for the purpose of dominance. B is believed to be a loser. So we are going to compare the losses. So the strategy having less loss will be dominating the other one. Loss of 16 and 8, B2 dominates. Loss of 1 and 11, B1 dominates. So in case of B1, B2, no dominance. So B1 and B3. Loss of 16, 6, B3 dominates. Loss of 1 and 4, B1 dominates. So, no dominance. B1 and B4. 16 loss, 14 loss, B4 dominates. 1 loss and 2 loss, B1 dominates. Yes, so no dominance. Okay. Uh, B1 and B5. 16, 12, B5 dominates. 1 and 1. Dominance of B5 continues. So B1 is dominated by B5. So we can delete B1. B5 gives lower loss. Now, B2 and B3. B2 loss 8, B3 loss 6, B3 dominates. B2 loss 11, B3 loss 4, so B3 dominates. B2 is dominated by B3. So we are going to delete B2. Now B3 and B4. B3 loss 6, B4 loss 14. B3 dominates. B3 lost 4, B4 lost 2, so B4 dominates, so no dominance of any one. B3 and B5. B3 lost 6, B5 lost 12, B3 dominates. B3 lost 4, B5 lost 1, B5 dominates, so no dominance of only one strategy. And the last comparison B4 and B5. B4 lost 12, uh, sorry 14, B5 lost 12, so B5 dominates. B4 lost 2, B5 lost 1, so B5 dominates. So B4 is dominated by B5. So we are going to delete B4. B1, B2 and B4. We are going to delete them. So the now the new game or the same game with order only 2 by 2 will be player A gainer, player B loser, only two strategies B3 and B5 now. And only two strategies, A3 and A4. 6, 4, 12 and 1. Now let's check the situation. Row minimum, 6, 12, so 6, 4, 1, 1. Maximum of it, this is maximum. Column maximum. Column maximum, 6 and 4, so 6, 12 and 1, 12, and minimum of them is 6. So, here also, same 6 is minimax. Minimax equals to maximum. That means there is saddle point, and it is at A3, B3. Saddle point is at A3, B3. So, even after 
deleting the strategies of both the players by applying dominance rule there is no change in the situation of saddle point as well as the value of game as well as the optimal strategies of the two players for a a3 remains the optimal strategy and for b b3 remains the optimal strategy even after applying the dominance rule so on applying the dominance rule the situation about saddle point value of game optimal strategies remains the same actually this kind of say discussion of this kind of case um, say creates some trust on the say rule or unusual rule like dominance rule so as a student i was also curious about all these things that's why i preferred to discuss this kind of problem to apply dominance rule in case of a game with saddle point that's it